so today i'm going to talk about the assessment of personality in the case of assessment personality we can divide the assessment personality into three one is called subjective method objective method and third one is called projective so are you able to uh, understand the difference among the three anyone can admit pramil kumar so i request to come forward and give the answer yes, sir. so what is the difference among the three the subjective means uh... yes it's not at all issue it's not right or wrong okay it's like attempt only so your answers may be correct only okay sir the objective actually giving a short oh. a short answer only but subjective okay, okay. that is uh, yeah. describe the more okay that is like a examination mode you are talking so normally the objective question like a one word question the case of subject is like essay this is not in the case of the personality can you be good at that pramil because you are interpreting based on the, the questions but uh, here the subject to method represent the subjects may involved uh, for example if i want to measure the the people's personality uh, instead of measuring myself i can give one questionnaire the particular subject they may fill the question based on the question filled filled by the subjects i can evaluate his personality that is called subjective method that here the subject may involved to uh, assess his personality for example i am giving some kind of self assessment question so you are assessing by your self like swat and as you are doing even the that's why i put the exam as an autobiography in the case of autobiography who is writing the things in the sense the persons um, for me suppose i want to write my biography this i can write my biography as an autobiography suppose if you are writing my biography it's not an autobiography it's like a biography of mine one so when i'm writing myself uh, that i may understand my positive negative then finally i may correct write the perfect manner this the while writing autobiography here the subjective method represent the subject may involve to represent his personality so even only the test for example i want to measure the uh, the personality of the gina so what i'm going to do i'm going to give some kind of rating scale she can fill this rating scale like uh, how she can perceive um, or uh, uh, how she can uh, what is her self concept or what is her self confident everything i can give one question so she might fill this question up then after she may submit me so based on the filled question up by the uh, uh, gina i can came to know that what kind of person this is so that is for subject method in this case the subject may involved right so based on the subject responses only we can come for conclusions about the the people persons personality that is for subject method in the case of the autobiography who is writing the autobiography in the sense that a person those describe his person that person only may write the autobiography similarly self writing by himself itself or itself itself even the questioner uh, as a tester if i give the questioner to the reshma or kavita or samya mal they may um, feel it and they may give to me so here the question is filled by the, the subject itself here the subject represents sample or for whom i am going to be access the proper personal to that people may call as a subject i hope now you understand what is subject method in the case of objective method as a tester i may involve so i won't tell to the kavita or jina or madhura samya mal or Uh, anyone okay even sana or pragna i won't tell to them but i am observing them before telling them okay so i am observing what kind of personality so whether they are very confident uh, they are not much confident so like that i may uh, evaluate the people's personality based on my observations so from that observation i will some kind of tool to measure for example instead of giving the rating scale to you i am keeping the rating scale based on the reaction or based on the action which you made from your end i can evaluate i can measure your personality based on my observation so here the tester may involve to measure the people's personality i hope now you understand the, the subject to object method means that tester may involve to observe it or measuring the people's personality by himself but the tester itself or the the psychologist stuff in the case of the subjective method the rating or uh, the measurements made by the the subject is so those are uh, i am suppose i am going to measure someone's in the sense the person itself may give the response about him from this measure from this response only i may give for some data uh, final conclusion about the personality that is called subjective the last one is called projective that's the projection 
So in this first two method, um, somewhat individual is based, but in the projective method, suppose I want to measure uh, the basculative personality, I can give some kind of task or I can show some of the images or some kind of uh, the ink flat test and all. Then finally, he may feel like perception. He may feel how he can react, how can feel the images. Uh, then he may give some answer. That answers represent projective method. The see, the previously I show one video, no? So there is a one personality test I am showing to you. That time you are giving some kind of interpretations. That is called projective. You are projecting your viewpoint. From the projections, if you are projecting in a positive manner, you have the positive personality. If you, have, if you are projecting in negative aspects, in, not in a good manner, then you have the negative uh, psycho, uh, personality. Like that we, as a psychologist, we may come for conclusions. Here the projections, like uh, what is that the, resp the respondent by the um, subjects, uh, by his own opinion or his reactions from this uh, that's called projection projecting his views uh, from the subject sides uh, that uh, projections as a psychologist you are observing this and that's called projective method that's when the projective method i'm adding the two three important tools named like uh, uh, rose implant test that's called perceptive techniques uh, our perception techniques called the at thematic appreciation our perception test and the last one is a protective so even some people may protect our product or they may draw. Some people having the worst writing. So when you look onto the worst writing, some people are always criticizing the things. So they could not realize the, the good things and that's why they, all the worst, they talking about the negative things and all. So you may easy to understand the people's personality based on his writing itself. So that is called projective method or hopefully you may understand the three difference among the three uh, methods. Subjective method means the subject may be involved. In the case of the objective method, the uh, what is that? Uh, uh, the tester may observe uh, the subjects based on the observation. He may give the uh, he may come for conclusion about the people's personality. In the case of projective, um, so like uh, he may share his views based on this image which I'm showing through. Or if I show one image, you can uh, make it your own story. That kind of thing is called as the yeah, projective things. Um, Yes, next I move to the, the other, uh, the diagram representations, like a flow chart. Uh, generally, uh, in the case of adjective mode, there is a lot of types of the light, like like observed, ob uh, sorry, unobserved, uh, unobserved observations, or uh, observed observation. Observed means uh, like you know, participatory or non participatory observation. That's the things I'm focusing uh, in the later slides. And uh, see the projective things uh, like Rosie Inflatus, thematic appreciation. Children's uh, perception test, Tanta phone, lot of types are there. Just time to destroy the names. And this is called psychoanalytic. Uh, the fourth one is called psychoanalytic, like free association test, dream analysis. So the dream analysis one methods only is uh, adopted by the, the great educationist uh, Freud. Yes, now I move to the first method is called subjective method. In the case of subjective method, the first one which I'm going to discuss about the interview method. See, uh, in the case of interview, um, the, what is that? I am asking the questions. The respondent by the subject it. That's why it's coming to the subject, uh, subjective method. Because the subjects may give the answers. Uh, so here, normally, in the case of the interview, as a tester, I may ask some of the questions. That questions may be structured or unstructured. What is the difference between structure and unstructured? Structure means you already have the pre-existing question or pre-planned question. That pre-planned question, if you are asking to them, that is called structured interview. Suppose if you don't have any kind of pre-planned questionnaire or pre-planned questions with you as a tester, but you are asking them uh, what is the on the spot some of the questions. Based on this, you are come for conclusion about this person, then it's called unstructured interview. See, in the case of the, the normal uh, the TV discussion, you know, normal TV interview and all, generally it goes to the structure only. But in the evening, the, uh, in the evening and all, there is a kind of debate on like political debates going on with a lot of TV channels. Uh, here there is no, they have some topic only, but the discussion like unstructured. There is no kind of the situation, what is it? there is no kind of stipulated question they may ask to the people. So on the spot, the uh, moderator, they may ask a lot of questions. They may intervene, the moderator may intervene. From this, they are doing this kind of discussion. That, that is discussion called unstructured. But generally, the interview method, we can adopt the structure methods more suitable because um, based on the persons, uh, we already developed some of the uh, questions. That questions we can ask directly to the participants as the subjects. Then finally, we may come for conclusion about this personality. 
based on the structure interview suppose uh, you don't have time to prepare a structure uh, three exercise questions you met accident to one person that time you want to measure him you can ask the question uh, like uh, in an instant manner that is called unstructured without planning without having any kind of pre existing questions if you are asking anything from this you come for confusion about the people's person then it's called unstructured yeah so the, it may be happen in the case of the uh, some kind of unstructured interview that's why i'm showing some uh, these things okay so a lot of interview may most of the interviews may go with structure based only particularly the uh, when you go for any kind of interview to face the, as a job based on they asking the and uh, the question but it's not mentioning your personality it measuring your ability uh, ability to face the exam uh, face the interview as well as the, it's uh, that interview may uh, much focusing on the uh, whether you are suitable for the that profession so that only they may be uh, measuring but in the case of the personality measurement the interview method the questions somewhat uh, where is it close bonded with to the measuring the uh, the personality of the people from and the second tool uh, in the subject method is called questionnaire i hope you knows what is a questionnaire questionnaire may be open ended question or in a closed ended question closed ended question means like yes or no types the questions having only the two responses or three responses in the case of open ended questions like open end uh, like you can write is a five mark question or ten mark question how you are writing like this the people may give the lot of big answers so that may questionnaire so so from that question also we can assess the people personality just i'm showing the the examples of the questionnaire the the questionnaire refers to a device for securing answer questions by using the inquiry form this is a definition generally there is a two type one is called closed or open ended form the closed form or structured form uh, generally is called as an essay note type the questions may like this adopting english medium for instruction for primary schools level will improve in the learning outcomes so now we have to give the response whether it is yes or no so from this we can know uh, what kind of attitude you have uh, related to the uh, adopting english medium so it measuring uh, your attitude only so our opinion about the uh, english medium suppose i am asking the open form questions what are your responses for considering adopting the english medium for instruction from primary school level will increase the learning outcomes so here the two questions are in a different mode uh, even the two questions measuring the the people's the same uh, it measuring the same things whether how they feel about the adopting english medium for, particularly for the primary school level that only is focused here and in the case of the personality inventory um, even the personality inventory also is filled by the uh, the subject itself see in my hand i hope my screen with my video also is visible so if you comes directly i may show this uh, tool um, because we have the very good psychology lab just i'm showing the tool that is called isnec uh, my screen is visible sorry my video is visible to all of you my video yes sir yes ma'am yes, yes, yeah sir please see this case there is an isnec personality inventory and uh, there is in the opposite side so you can see the, the entire descriptions the interpretation suppose the persons those are getting this much mark how uh, in what way his personality so like that every interpretation available in this which if it comes i will show this you can read it and if you want to uh, use this tool to someone so you can use this also and uh, there is a paper based actually the isnet test is a paper based uh, inventory so here uh, this is a tool see here this is a questionnaire once we give the questionnaire uh but uh, this is like a questionnaire only but they use the term as the inventory because it's also mentioning yes or no but when you go for the personality uh, then we may use the term as the inventory and uh, that's why the personality inventory is made by the isnac we use the term as the inventory because it's measuring the personality as a inventor manner and uh, his every questions like do you often long, long for excitement do you often need understanding friends to cheer you up like this there is a 57 questions are there so based on the 57 questions the people may give the responses then finally based on the interpretations which is given by the uh, in the instructions of the uh, ice next we can come for the conclusion about the people's personality so surely i will share this entire picture as a screenshot and share to the google classrooms in that particular tool uh, so that is called personality inventory uh, this look like a questionnaire but it look like a same as the questionnaire but only the things uh, this st the statement instead of a question manner sometimes it may be a statement based so statement means it's not a question the end with is not a question question but here even the isnex is made as a question from inventory only not in the statement based so uh, generally we are using the bell suggestion inventory to measuring the people particularly the schools adult students this question may come for the net examination on top so uh, like in the match of following adjust inventory made by home 
like the lot of questions may comes so be cautious uh, and uh, these are things you have to memory only the adjustment inventory made by the bell and uh, this question may come uh, sometimes uh, how many questions in this particular uh, tool in the sense he is having using 140 items 140 items and 140 items represent 140 statement and he divide the 140 statement into four domains uh, that four domains nothing but the four components uh, one is a family adjustment health adjustment community adjustment and the emotional adjustments like this there is a four components each component is having the 35 items so when you go with 35 35 into four times you are getting the 140 items so in this manner he made this tool suppose if you are giving to measure the adult personality certain uh, adjustment inventory ad, uh, adjustment mechanism you can use this uh, tool and give to the people and uh, get in back to the the particular tools uh, filled by them then finally you can come for conclusion about this person because why is called subject in the sense because the questioner or the tool which is filled by the the subject itself therefore it may call us this subject method yes now i move on to the objective method i like that it is totally based on the the tester based so the tester may observe the uh, the subjects here the sub, the tester role is much high compared to the uh, subjector even the subjector we can tell them i am going to observe or without telling to them to observe we can observe from our end as a tester yeah? then finally we may come for conclusion about this personality see this uh, observation method in the observations uh, uh, this kind of steps are there but generally the types i am focusing here what is direct and indirect uh, observation means direct means as a tester suppose i am the tester i want to measure your personality i can directly involve to measure suppose uh, that if i am using the indirect method instead of coming myself i may tell to the other other friends of your group tell to observe your personality from the response i can come for conclusion about your personality that is an indirect observation so for the direct observation the tester may involve for the indirect observation instead of the tester other one can be participate but uh, the subject cannot know who is going to be observed then the other one is called natural setting so in the natural settings uh, if i want to measure you uh, i can measure uh, i can measure your personality in your home only then can i can came for uh, know who is you exactly but if the artificial uh, like uh, i am inviting in our classroom then from that i may tell that i am going to observe then you could not show your original so you may hide your original because it's a artificial environment therefore we cannot find the exact things and so even we can go for the observing the people in natural setting or in artificial settings then the second one is called scheduled even we can fix is some kind of tentative schedule to observe the people or unscheduled manner we can observe the people okay then the next is called participants even uh, suppose i am giving one task that task also i may participate from the participant itself i am observing that is called as the uh, participation uh, observations suppose uh, you are participating i am sitting somewhat outside and i am measuring your personality in a non participatory manner that is called non participation so like this, there is a four types of observations the, the next is a case study i hope you already cross in the dl level what is case study the deep please uh, understand the, the people's uh, uh, the problems or intensive study about the, the people's problem then is called as a case study then that is why the case study is a record uh, the incorporate it's a compulsory record in the case of the dl because as a teacher we should know the problems of the student that is why at least you may take one or two cases in your uh in your uh when you go for the teaching you no know, you may take one or two students those are the problem and that students you may understand the problem what is the family background what how we can give the remedy so everything you may find out and give the some kind of clinical way to give the uh, solution also no that is called case study so he, this case study also is make uh, it may helping to find the people's uh, personality in a observing manner then the the last thing is called as a projective their projection here the projection that's called shadow his real characteristics it may replicate his actions or his views that views or actions based if you are measuring the people personality that called projecting so how he is projecting from the projection the subject projections as a test we can come for the conclusion about the people personality generally the uh, projective technique there is a uh, four three types are the generally one is called perceptive what is called perceptive represent in the sense um, here the people perception is much important suppose i am showing some of the images so that images you have some kind of meaningful interpretation i hope you already knows what is that perception perception consists of the two things one is called sensory other one is called meaningful interpretation so 
uh, it starts from the sensory when you sensor when you feel when you see or when you hear then you are coming for conclusion that is for meaningful interpretations based on the image which you see or based on the sound which you are hear so from this you are come for conclusion that you are telling the context first that called your own perceptions the own perceptions may comes from the experience only without the experience it only comes so that perceptions uh, generally the subject is to report what the perceives of the stimulus which you given by the tester suppose i am showing you one images like see i hope you already see this rosy implanters this also available i hope my screen is visible my tv is visible so this tool is available i am having the cord that's a 10 cord this is made by the rosy implanters so see here that's a cord cord 1 cord 2 cord 3 so this is very costly even uh, our department having two or three things so the three uh, and four so like this each cord so when i show you this cord you are getting some kind of uh, uh, idea about this what kind of images is but each one have each one having the different ideas me comes for all of us not getting a single uh, uh, idea or views about these images each one have the different views so that perception when you give the responses then i can came to know that what kind of personality because the given uh, one more uh, the interpretation book also see this is a separate book uh, it's uh, written by the uh, verla fans cuber uh, based on the human social impactors so here they highlight the, the entire interpretation suppose someone's telling that this image look like a uh, bird then for this different personality that people blanks to this area like this he on uh, this book uh, describing the the each people's personality in a different aspects of the ro- uh, rosy implanters so here the people may perceive uh, this uh, what is it which provide some stimulus to them the, from the stimulus they may perceive something based on this stimulus that stimulus based we can measure the people's personality then the th- second one is called upper septi it is uh, it is beyond the uh, perception so in the case of the rosy implanters i am showing only one images you are finding what kind of image is this how we feel but in the case of the upper perceptions the people what they think no so they may give this own story so instead of telling that what kind of image or how would they feel about this image if i show this one card so this also is available you know department is called thematic appreciation uh, this is made by the henry murray uh, this uh, app for the uh, the school students Uh, not for the higher educations uh, if i show the image so instead of finding what the image is you can develop your own uh, what is that story from that story we can come for conclusion about the people personal because here you are elaborating this images but here you are not elaborating the images see the road say implants are perceptive things you cannot elaborate you can tell how we feel about this image then how we can come about this particular image you are giving only one answer like i feel like a bird i feel like a man or i feel some kind of thing is that like that you are giving some answers that's called perception but in the case of this one this card you can give instead of as the perception you are elaborating this the particular image in a meaningful story from that story we can as it is so we can find for conclusion about your personality that is called upper perception that's why the, i use the term is the subject goes beyond what perceives and offers instead of elaborate then in the case of productive like a performance based so the people may perform something based on this we can come for uh, uh, the conclusion about the people so it's called uh, activity based things just i'm moving to the rosy implanters uh, this a test is made by the herman rosy uh, is a social psychologist 1921 this question may comes to the uh, net examinations uh, this question regularly is may comes uh, how many cards he is using so he is using a 10 cards He is using a ten cards, uh, and ten cards. Uh, some questions in some net examination they may ask the questions: How many black and white card? How many multicolor card? Generally, he uses a five card as a black color, black and white, and five card as a multicolor. But generally, uh, if you deeply look onto the the multicolor also, we can come and we can divide into two more. Uh, out of five multicolor, uh, the two is a black and red and white. Only the three mixed color. Then other three, the the remaining three cards is multicolor. These questions might come to the uh, examinations. And what is the unique terms of this kind of images? It is like a symmetrical. When you cut into the center, you are getting the two equal parts. So that is the uniqueness of the rose ink factors. I hope you know. Uh, even the school days and all, we pour we are pour some uh, ink in the paper and we are folding the paper. Then finally, we if you open the paper, you are getting the two symmetric view. No, 
So the same things on the Harman uh, Roche uh, did uh, uh, in the year 1921. And based on the people's perceptions about these images, we can come for conclusion because he's already given a lot of interpretations uh, based on these people's uh, views about this. Generally, the responses, we may measure the people's responses of the Rose implanters based on the three components. One is called location. Suppose if I'm showing the images, say I'm showing one color image, then you can, oh yeah. So this is a color uh, image of the Rose implanters. This is a Rose implanters origin, okay? So in the Rose implanters, if I show here, suppose you are the location. The location means if you're seeing one view, no, that views based on the whole in the sense that is called W, you are blank, so W for this different meaning, different uh, personality are. Suppose you are finding only one particular large area, only this green area, only you are focusing, and you are telling this, this image look like this. Then you have the D, the large common details you are pursuing for this different personality you are. Then suppose you are portioning only the small area in the center part only. Then finally telling that what kind of image you are perceiving. That is the small common detail which you are telling in the sense. It may come under the other personality type. Then suppose some people, instead of seeing the color, they can look onto the, the white layer only. From the white layer, they are telling some kind of uh, images or some kind of perception they made that. So if you are looking, look, what is it? If you are telling the images based on the outer layer only, then it's called come under the yes, it's a white space. So for them, it's a different personality like this. They describing each one's personality. If you need, you can come and get the books to me. Um, but we cannot be provide the book in the home because it's a um, kind of considered the lab only. So you can come and access the lab, things from the department itself. And the second thing, uh, the second dimension could determine the people they given the one response from this image, you know. So suppose he give the one perception. The perception answer is like a movement based. He may come to the EM. Uh, that is a different personality that people suppose his form from the the entire uh, look itself he forms some meaning uh, meaningful way then he's having a uh, different personality some people they may focusing on the color based only or some people the textual based surface only they're giving the answer and uh, the answers may represent maybe a human figure some people they feel is a human some people feel as an animal some people feel even as in uh, it's not a human way they may use the things like a human used the things then some people they may uh, think as a plants. So different answers may perceive from each one. So for each response, there is a meaningful interpretation given by the Rose. Uh, in the book, it's available. Uh, just time, if you need, I will share you. So these are the chord. So please kindly see the chord. There is a ten chord. Out of ten chords, uh, there is a five chord. Is a multicolor five chord. Here you can see because of the black one. Uh, that's why you cannot see this thing. Just I'm showing the chord. This is a panel one. This is a panel one. Even in the card back, we can see the number. See, I'm showing the number. Uh, each card having the number. I hope you are seeing the number. Uh, so here you are seeing the number. See this side, okay? I hope you are seeing this number. In the top, this is a fourth card. Uh, this is a third card. On the back side, they have the number. This is a third card, is a color card. This is a first card, panel one. This is a panel two. Uh, this is a panel three. Uh, they use the term as a panel. This is a panel four. Panel 5, Panel 6, Panel 7, Panel 8, Panel 9, Panel 10. So there is a 10 chords. Out of the uh, 5 chords is a black and white and the other 5 is a multicolor. And uh, they given some kind of patterns to how to go with this, the time skipping this one. Yes, the next one is a thematic uh, appreciation test. So in the thematic appreciation test, uh, we have the uh, test, we have the separate uh, uh, tools we have. So this tool is developed by the uh, Indian, it's an Indian made tool. So just I'm showing the tool. Uh, this is made by the, I hope my screen visible. It is made by the Uma Chandra, uh, Uma Chaudhary. So, so this is called Henry Murray only, but uh, in the Indian ad adoption. So in the Indian based, they can, they modifying some of the, the image textures, uh, the you know, diagram representation. Then finally, this is a tool is adopted by the uh, our Indian mate, Dr. Uma Chaudhary. So this tools only we are using now uh, as Indian constraint. Uh, so see, there is a continuous image. You can show the image one by one. So show the image one by one to the uh, the students or the for whom you are going to measure the personality. Then after this, they can find for unique uh, story. They can elaborate the story from the the, the sequence of thought. So here is beyond the perception. So they are giving, uh, they are interpreting the image which is shown to them 
from the interpretation they are combining the entire things into a single story they may give the answer for this see there is a small uh, image which i'm showing here but due to time fact i'm not asking the answer because i want to skip and uh, skip from here uh, because it's 11:40 before the end of this class so therefore i'm uh, i'm stop this uh, what is the discussion here so suppose if i show here you may get some kind of uh, story you can the elaborate story the story uh, having uh, sometimes you may come for the the, uh, the final story the end with uh, uh, positive uh, climax or in a negative climax even the characters for example uh, if you are taking all the three people's characters a positive you have a different personality suppose you are feel you are keeping the one people's personality is negative and uh, if you are treated these, these people as a theft so each one have the different idea to coin the the story from this particular image so here the character which you frame for each one and entirely in what way you are constructing the story everything is replicate your inner feeling everything is replicating the inner feelings or inner thoughts only so that inner thoughts is replicate your personality so from this we can come for conclusion here there is a description is there i will share this ppt and you can uh, check here there is a one story also given that meaningful interpretation also i given so this we can read from your end so like this we can show a lot of images that people may come for uh, the from the sequence image they may come for conclusions they may give some kind of elaborate uh, story then finally as a tester we can come for conclusion about the people's personal the last one is a productive technique uh, in the productive techniques uh, one is for sentence completion test even we can easily to realize the people's about this just we can give the answer so the example of sentence completion so you can type the answer or you can unmute and talk to me for this i wish you can fill these remaining things i love he has been shown my nerves are made so if he provides such kind of open ended open dash questions that people might feel some answers that answers is replicate the people's personality so anyone can give the answer you can type in the chat box possible i wish at least the first one i wish or i love he has been should so any any representation you should give the answer each responses is given by the participants or the subjects is replicate the personality only in this manner we can come for the conclusion about the people personality and then next is here if possible you can give it then i move to the next things then free assertion test in the free assertion test is made by the call you and, uh, and then finally is assisted by the uh, ken suppose i am start with uh, so i request all to uh, one minute you can open your camera a small activity i'm going to make uh, so how what is the free association free association so here the activity uh, just uh, i'm going to spell one word uh, from that word you can connect with uh, the next next word okay suppose i'm speaking as a sweet uh, suppose i'm short with sweet in the sense the next person you can start uh, you can link with the word with related to the sweet so you can start with chocolate right that if the one person finishes the chocolate the next person start with the the connection with the chocolate like like a connecting the connecting game only are you ready so only two persons are open the camera what about the others so when i spell the names you have to give the responses i hope you are understand the responses which will be linked with the, the previous previous person's answer if got clear the previous person answer so i may start the uh, uh, the the things the education education is the i am starting the word uh, now the pragnaya you can give the answer uh, you can give the continuous word related to the education knowledge Pragna? knowledge, knowledge. Okay, okay good yeah so next uh, uh, knowledge is read by the pragnaya then the mother i can give the answer related to the knowledge wisdom wisdom wisdom, wisdom. okay wisdom madra is good so now the answer uh, i am excerpt from the sana from the wisdom answer yeah sana sana anis Uh, sir, truth. Wisdom, truth. Okay, then very good. The truth, then Sangha Mitra, Sangha Mitra. The employability. Truth, the employability. So okay, somewhat like okay. So the employability. Now the employability, uh, then extension word of Kavika. Economic security. what what can we the answer financial security finance very good correct finance security okay you can give only one answer finance okay finance okay then kavita to bishwanath bishwaranjan 
finance control salary. board salary. salary very good very good very good so salary okay salary then related word bhaskar reddy uh, you are muted bhaskar reddy needs needs salary okay somewhat need okay so based on need only is it okay need then pramil kumar so the bhaskar reddy answer is need what is your response uh, job a uh, need job uh? okay so we need a job okay and we, we can link with this okay thank you pramil then the answer goes to the jina job you can give the later answer finish sorry Hi. Jina, sorry, I'm not clear with what you're saying. Sorry. Passion. Passion. Okay, oh, passion, passion. Okay. Now the guy three. Guy three. The interest. Passion, interest. Very good, interest. Roshni. Roshni. teaching passion towards teaching very good very good okay teaching saumya mom saumya mom mm, yes sir yeah teaching. the roshni finishes a teaching so you can give give the related terms related to the teaching knowledge oh, it's already knowledge. used knowledge used by pragna okay you can use the other term so we could not use the same term now each other's use so anyway good at and thank you all see uh, yeah inspire. thank you so much yeah okay we inspire. i start inspire okay nice so i started the word education finally the roshni and somiel conclude with the term as a teaching see so every even you are spelling the word each one's giving you one response but the responses also uh, uh, what is the based on your thoughts based on your idea only you are sharing this idea you are not blindly give the terms Okay, so what you feel that one is replicate as the answer from here. Right? So that is called free association test. So from this also we can easy to find the people's personal. I am not trying to the people's personal here in a single uh, example itself. So okay, I am not uh, measuring here. But this is the way the people's uh, the free association test may working. So the tester test one stimulus word immediately the second is sponsored by another word like this may go so continuous. From this we can access the people's personal. Okay, this is called situation. Then in the case of the situation test. Uh, we can give some kind of situation we can provide some situation from this we can observe the people's personality for example uh, i'm giving some kind of vocabulary test so suppose the people that particular student is, is not an uh, good in the case of the uh, language suppose once i give the vocabulary test i'm asking that how many words he knows honestly so he might tell that all the words he knows in the sense so we cannot come for uh, his uh, truthness no so therefore what we can do as we can add some of the uh, wrong words in between the, uh, the the words which are shown to them so out of 10 words two or three dummy words i may add that dummy words it's not there in the dictionary also but the children may tell i know all the 10 words so from this we can understood that his truthness his honestness so like this we can provide some kind of situational or performance test from this you can me- measure the, the people's honesty that self concept anything we can measure through this so that is called situation test but the situation test uh, we can provide some kind of task or performance from this we can measure it so and the last one is uh, so, so like even we can tell the participants or the subject to draw something from the, the drawing itself we can form come to a conclusion uh, about his personality even their ideas their views only is replicated as images no suppose some people is always uh, drawing the images uh, in uh, in the sketches in the negative aspects like yeah, a murder and that kind of things so therefore the mindset is fixed only in the pessimist based not in the optimist based so that that, that kind of things we can easily to perceive based on the the people's uh, frequency diagram itself so and come for the conclusions about uh, how the psychologist just we can organize because the precautions because the work we have to do before organizing any psychologists generally the psychologists should be conducted well trained or qualified persons so it should be qualified person or trained people so without only without trained if you are organizing any kind of psychologists you do not 
uh, know the the people's personality exactly, and sometimes it may affect the the subject also. So that is why I'm not measuring the viewer's personality because I'm not a good trainer, I'm not a good qualified person to measure the people's personality. That's why I'm not measuring you uh, generally. And test scores should be given only who can properly interpret them. Suppose uh, that's why even I'm playing some of the videos. No, that videos uh, the interpretation may not be correct. That even I started one uh, the videos related to the murder, the first. Uh, so it may be at th that time only. Even that interpretations, uh, if I uh, so finally you are telling us those are giving the same responses, you are not normal. So it may not be apt in the current situation now. That is why uh, sometimes the the people those who are not know how to interpret the people's personality, this kind of uh, problems may arise. Then the test schools are being handled over only the parents, headmaster, counselor, or guidance or worker. Suppose you are organizing any kind of personality test, don't share this the people's personality to anyone. So other than the parents and headmaster, counselor, and guidance. Then the, finally, the while attempting to interpret the meaning of the schools, the three factors should be important: the nature of the test. Test situations like the test situation may be a natural mode, not an artificial manner, and the test should be kept in mind. So we have to look onto the test it, and it's nothing but our observer. So you don't use the uh, very hard questions. Uh, we can ask the question like a guidance counseling one. So when you mention the people, and the test issue should be protected well. So these are the precaution things we have to do if you are adopting any kind of psychological test. So thank you all.